removing and replacing the camera for the the camera and gimbal for the Hubson Zeno 2 uh, very simple first thing you want to do make sure that you have removed your battery anytime you work on it remove your battery and it's easier if you extend your arms out but we're going to leave them like this just because I don't have much room and trying to keep everything on camera here so all you have is you have on the outside you have four screws one two three four and then underneath here you have two more screws so we just need to remove those screws and then uh, just remember uh, if you have different screws make sure you put those back properly so we're just going to go ahead and take screws out real fast See, these are different. Make sure you put them back properly in the proper location. This snaps on, so you want to be careful and just tilt it forward. I think it's forward if I remember. It's got little snap tabs on it, so you want to be careful with that. And this would be something that I would purchase to keep extra uh, because those tabs are very fragile and this is probably less than a dollar so once you have the spare parts available that would be a spare part I would add to my list and then two screws right here on the actual gimbal frame itself And then what you're going to do, this is where you want to be careful. You're going to tilt the camera out and don't, don't go too far because you have a cable underneath there that we need to pry off. So we're just going to tilt it forward and expose the wire you see right there. And I'm going to come underneath and pry it. So I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way for you guys. and pop it off and that's how you remove the camera and camera slash gimbal so we'll give you a look at it here this has got some very good weight to it this uh, camera seems to be very good quality I don't imagine we'll have much problems with this but just to give you a look these are the gimbal dampeners they are full axis in all directions and then you have them here on the front same thing full axis all directions you'd want to remove the camera to replace those or to repair the ribbon cable which as you see here is a very simple repair remove two screws unplug the ribbon cable and replace it so this ribbon cable this is another thing I would add to your spare parts list for the Hubson Zeno 2 and I don't imagine we're going to have a whole lot of trouble with this one compared to the Hubson Zeno and the Hubson Zeno Pro. So now we'll put it back in. Just give you some final looks at it. This here is some sort of pad. I don't see where it hits. I, I think it's just a, maybe a, maybe it's supposed to align with this cable once it's, yeah. So once your cable's plugged in, it's like folded. So when you put your cable back in the quad, you want to do it in an S. You want to fold it in an S type fold, just like that. And it'll end up resting against here, and that'll keep it securely plugged in as well. So you don't want to have it put like that. You don't want it looping on you. 
make sure you do the zigzag okay this is the hard part because you don't have a lot of cable to work with so putting it back in is not so easy I'm going to extend one leg here and what you want to do is get the front in and get you got a little space to get your finger in so we're going to get the cable down there we can do it without having the front in I think as you see there's just no room for your finger and being on camera I don't I don't have it in the position I would prefer it and when you do it you want to feel a very light snap if you don't feel that don't try to force it there just snapped right in so once you have it lined up and it's not hard to line up you'll feel it go click and then you're set so it's in place and then when we put the front in again you want to see that see how it's folding as we push down on the wire the wire kind of zigzags down can't really see it but I showed you while it was out so front end first and then bring that down and you you can feel it pressing against that cable on that foam pad I showed you and that's holding it nice and secure so while I put it back together, we're just going to do it the exact reverse, but while I put it back together, I just want to say that um, this is just a procedure for simple removal to repair it or to replace it. Um, I've seen rumors of people saying they're going to make an 8K camera. Um, that's false. Uh, Hubson has not said such things and um, I would imagine that the processor might not uh, like that so I would say we're not going to see an 8k camera added to this unless they make hardware changes inside and then um, the other thing is uh, that I would like to see as a possibility is if they added a thermal camera as an upgrade uh, to where you could simply take this one out put a thermal in uh, I don't know that that's even a possibility for hardware reasons uh, but maybe maybe a future possibility in our Hubson Xeno 2 Pro whenever that arrives if that's what they're going to call it but that would be another neat option and that's pretty much all I've heard in the rumor mills that I wanted to clear up but again it is just for uh, repair and replacement so you don't have to take the whole quad apart that's the whole idea and uh, you can see it's so much better made so good job Hubson on that one And don't over tighten there's no need just simply snug them up and you're good to go cameras back in place and that is how you remove and replace the camera on the Hubson Xeno 2 thank you everybody for watching hit that subscribe button and as always thumbs up on your way out and we'll see you on the next video take care